Hi, this is Raja Babu. Today we are going to see Checkmate Patterns Part 2. I hope you all are ready. Now, in this part 2, first of all, we are going to see a checkmating pattern in that checkmating pattern with two bishops. Now, this is the first position by giving this bishop check, it is simply checkmate. Now, look at this position, this diagonal is controlled by the bishop and this diagonal should be controlled by another bishop. So, this is again checkmating pattern with two bishops. Now, this is a third position where the black bishop is already controlled and we need to give check with this another bishop. Now let's see how it is going to possible because this diagonal already the white is having his bishop and also having pawn. So let's see how it is make going to possible. So for that the black queen captures and he sacrifices his queen. White captures with the bishop into bishop and the checkmate will happen. Now this is another two bishops mate only but this is called Borden's mate where the bishop is delivering checkmate in crisscross position. Now here the white comes here and deliver checkmate so this is Borden's mate. Now look at how this type of mate is possible in this type of position. Now here what exactly is happening the bishop is controlling this if another bishop will come here and delivers check then it will become checkmate. The problem is with this pawn. The pawn is there so we cannot give check. So therefore in this position black decides to sacrifice his queen. Compulsory for white to take that queen. Now this will become checkmate. Now in this position also the same thing. This bishop is controlling this. We need this bishop should come here and give checkmate. But again the problem is this pawn. So therefore white decides to sacrifice and after black captures white gives check and it will become checkmate. Now this is another mate where the bishop is delivering the mate and here the king is already like completely controlled by this white queen but only the diagonal is open. So in this diagonal the white will give check and deliver checkmate Th that was a balestra mate. Now here we will see Arabian mate where we are using knight and rook to give checkmate by bringing rook here where the king was stuck in corner. Even sometimes if the king is not stuck in corner still we can brought or bring that king in the corner. So this is Arabian mate type 1. Now let's see here. Look at this king is not in the corner but we can we can push this king in the corner and by getting rook here or maybe here we can deliver checkmate. Let's see how it is going to possible. Now white is given this check. King went there. Now imagine Either if this rook comes here the checkmate will happen or if this rook comes here the checkmate is going to happen. But you can simply ask how those rooks can come there because these two pawns are already there. They are not allowing this either this rook to come here or this rook to come here. So therefore white decides to sacrifice this rook. Now suppose if he would have been captured this would have been made because this knight was actually standing here that time. Now this knight came here, white can simply do checkmate. Now look at this position. Here even the king was having a chance to escape from here and only these two squares are there. Suppose if the white gives this check, the black king will easily escape from here. So therefore, white decides to do checkmate. He identified the pattern of Arabian mate and he is sacrificing his queen. Now the king could not capture because knight is there. So now the knight check, king will go here and he is giving this Arabian mate. Now let's see a next mate which is called a corner mate. The where king is stuck in the corner and this rook is controlling this fight. So we can simply give the checkmate with the knight. Now let's see here the corners mate 2. Okay. Now we need to observe position and look at this. The rook is controlling if we bring this knight here so there will be a checkmate. Now let's see how it is going to possible. Just sacrifice. Okay, and give this check and mate. So this is. Now this is called Morphe's mate. 
now where the rook is controlling this file but in the previous position the knight was giving the checkmate and here the bishop is giving check and the mate is happening now here also the same thing can happen first give check with the rook king will go inside and this is checkmate so this is also morphe's mate now look at this position let's see how morphe's mate is going to possible here okay so we need to think here because these two rooks are there the bishop is bishop is also there okay now let's see how this is going to possible if we are not able to do checkmate then he will checkmate us now let us see if we give this check what will happen he will go there now how it is going to possible here what we have to do that because his pieces will come in between if you gave check so we need to think now there is a option of giving a discover check okay now let's see how this is going to possible here now suppose let's consider suppose if we get this rook down so he will interpose with this pawn ye pawn ko beech mein leke aa sakta hai so then how it is going to possible kaise hoga ye position mein so i am also actually thinking here how it is going to possible because sometimes these positions are not easy now for example suppose if i give this check the king will come here okay now again you can give this check king is going there now let's move our rook down okay so now the queen came in between so we are capturing with the bishop the rook came in between and we captured so it was a long morphe's mate now pillsbury mate it is a kind of same sorry it is a kind of same type of mate but only thing is that we are delivering checkmate with the rook so we are using this rook and it is simply checkmate now let's see the pillsbury is mate two now see here the knight is protecting here but we are attacking with this and also we are attacking with rook so this is a very important here actually what the checkmate will take place in five moves now let's see how he is going to do this first is going to sacrifice this he is going to capture with the knight we are going to capture with the rook king is went inside now you can think of like how we did in the previous previous position but in previous position no one was coming in between this diagonal okay but here the problem is what this knight either can come in this diagonal or he can capture your bishop if you are trying to do if you are trying to do discover check for example if you try to give this check with this bishop this knight will simply capture you so therefore we have to be very careful so white decided to sacrifice his rook free because this rook cannot capture because there is a check with the bishop and he cannot capture this bishop because there was a check with the rook so king decided to capture this and simply is getting the piece and giving check the queen is coming in between and there is simply a checkmate so this is what a pillsbury mate now damiano's mate where the queen is delivering the checkmate with the support of pawn now here white queen can easily give checkmate by bringing his queen here the problem is what this knight so we have to deflect that knight so we are giving this check knight is capturing it and you are simply giving this checkmate now here again the damiano's checkmate now look at this king is here this king is here and suppose if we get our queen somewhere here then the checkmate is possible so think ki how to get this queen this queen here so the checkmate will happen so therefore we have to need a series of sacrifices rook check captures another rook check he goes inside again give free rook he will capture bring your queen give check he will come there and you can simply giving checkmate if you know the pattern you can easily win now let's see today's last mating pattern which is lolly's mate so simply with the help of pawn you can give this type of mate now here let's see how to get that possible 
here first you give check king will go inside and then bring your queen here so you can simply give this checkmate now this is another a type of lolly's mate now we have to get our queen here and deliver checkmate here according to lolly's mate but let's see how it is going to possible so for that let's sacrifice it okay suppose if we sacrifice he is going to capture with the queen okay and also suppose if you would have captured with the king then easily you could have easily you could have what we can say that give check so i think that move a sacrifice rook sacrifice is not going to be work now let's see if the rook sacrifice is not going to work then let's see whether the doubling the rook is possible yes the doubling is the rook is possible because suppose if he captures this now let's see what will happen this check captured now this check he will suppose if he would have been captured then we would have been given this check with the support of this bishop and then we delivered the checkmate now the king came here let's give this rook free so let him capture check and this is mate i hope you all understood how all these checkmating patterns now tomorrow again i will come with checkmating patterns part 3 okay till then you pause the video wherever necessary and try to understand those positions so thank you very much for watching and before leaving please like share and subscribe and also press that bell button so you will get notification of my every uploading video